Hey, everybody, this is Shake and Bake, and this is Salt. I played this game last when it was a while ago, when it was like just a demo. I mean, there wasn't much there. I love to go revisit early access to game, you know, months, a year down the road to see what they're like. And I was doing some searching. I saw Salt in my library. I thought, hey, I need to look at this again. Because I, I saw that there was a lot of updates and a big update coming. So I jumped back at this. It's like a whole new game. It is awesome. I, this, this what, hold on, let me take this guy real quick. Oh, I think, actually, no. Let me fight this pirate. There's pirates. Oh. There's pirates now, and there's quests, and there's like all kinds of things you can do now, which I didn't experience that before. The game has a real kind of neat look to it, uh, and what I was going to say is I kind of compare this to, in some ways, hold on a second here. I got a pirate ration. Oh, yes, yes. Let me eat a little bit of food here. I'm too full to eat. Okay, that, that'll work. But I did get this um, axe. Where'd the axe go? Right there. I want that axe. Let me go ahead and put that into slot seven. And yeah, that's good. Um, I'm just going to compare this a little bit to Stranded Deep. You know, same kind of concept. These islands out there. You got a raft, uh, exploration, um, a uh, procedurally generated world, I believe. Oh, here we go. Let's get this. Some more meat. We are set. And I think I've done enough damage to this little pirate village here. Uh, but the difference, what I... And, and again, those uh, Stranded Deep is a beautiful looking game, still in early access and still has, um, I would say, quite a bit to go. In, in the area of content. Um, while this game may not have the same kind of visuals, you know, Salt doesn't have that, has a different kind of look to it. Um, what, what I've realized in jumping back in it and reading what's coming is it has the, um, the content. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. So, and what I mean by that is, it has, let's get my sword back up. It has the uh, quests added now. Uh, there's like things to do other than just basically survive. There's pirates, you know, there's treasure to be found. Uh, and they have, a, the, the uh, they have new, this next update, they got new quests and NPCs coming. New enemies, new fishing content. You can fush fush you can fish in this game new secrets to find you know treasures to find and uh new tree rendering and then this new jungle area a uh, new island type you know so they're adding variety to the islands and uh this is gonna be tropical island uh, new types of trees i'm guessing and plants and then you have to really venture out far though to get to it and so I, 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 this to me is like one of those games I play alone. They are going to, I think they are talking about multiplayer at some point, but I actually kind of like this as just a relaxing game. Hold on. Let me get my, uh, am I out of arrows? I shouldn't be. Hold on a second here, guys. No, I got some arrows right there. Let me, uh, I think I have to, um, I think I've got to drag those arrows, put those in the slot two with my bow, put these in the slot two with my bow. There we go. Okay. And this is kind of these games I can kind of play to, in some ways, let me block this guy. I love fighting these pirates. Hook him out as kind of like, you know, a relaxing game. I almost say almost get off the grid, uh, the gaming grid, where I could just kind of come in here 
and venture in again this procedurally generated world um it's fun i like the look of it uh and i like that they've added again these uh, npcs you know quests oh, i just got hit hard got him got him i think i may have uh some bandages maybe or at least i could make some bandages i'm gonna eat that apple no i don't want to get near it let's do this let's see if i can um yeah let's eat that apple another apple why not too full okay uh let's see i think i could i don't know why it's not letting me craft right now um there's also kind of these boss creatures now. I ran into a big, huge tarantula last night. Scared the hell out of me, actually. I had no clue what it was. And I'm going to show you what it's like to get on the water because it really is cool. I love the, um, you know, Stranded Deeds got some awesome water effects as well. Uh, but I like the rolling waves of the ocean when you're kind of going. It really is cool. All right. I think uh, I think that's enough. Let's go down here and we'll um, get in the raft. Weak boulder. Oh, I got a dude right here, guys. Hold on. Got him with the headshot. So this is all, you know, new to me. So it's kind of like, you know, you, you, these early access games, you get, you try them and you put them away for a while. You, you pull it off a shelf and it's like, it's like almost like a little Christmas present uh, when you jump on these. What do I got here? Oh, here's all my stuff. Deer pelt. What can I make with that? I don't know. But let's see if I can make some. Uh, I want to make bandages and I can't remember exactly how to do that. I don't need a club, and I don't need that shield. Interesting, I got some pants. What do I got? What can I make here? What's this? Storage crates. I can make a storage crate for my boat. I'm guessing to store more stuff. That's cool. We're not going to do that right now. I do want to check out this. Uh... Oh, yeah. Nice. But let's spawn our boat and get on the ocean here real quick. And again, this is just a kind of a, I guess, a, a sneak peek first impressions i'd like to hear other people have you been keeping up with this game do you have this game and i like the sounds in the game as well but basically i love the water effects this kind of it does feel like the ocean this kind of rolling big waves and again this is one of these games when i want to like not play a shooter or something like that i want to kind of just chill maybe on my glass of red wine and I, I want to adventure out uh, in this world, see what I discover, do some of these quests. I'm going to play a game like this. So I'm going to be playing this quite a bit, kind of when I want some more like downtime in gaming. And um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. But it has come a long ways. If you've not checked out Salt, I definitely would visit it again. And uh, also I would tune in to some of their you know social media channels because... Uh, they got this big update coming. I will do another video on that when it comes out. But again, it sounds like uh, new quests and NPCs, new enemies, uh, fishing content, new secrets, new tree running, and then this new jungle-type island. I'm going to head over this way. That, that looks like a big island right there. I don't think I've been to that yet. Uh, the day-night cycle in this game. Uh, I don't think there's weather effects. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. It just looks cool. Well, I guess the sky looks a little bit uh, more misty than it had before. So maybe I am seeing a change in the skybox, but I could be totally wrong. My health's coming up. My food's good. I like the sounds of the water under the raft. You can upgrade your raft to larger size boats. I, ha I Actually, I took out some pirates and actually was able to board their ship, and I had the chance to uh, repair it. Uh, but I saved the game. When I came back, the ship was gone. So I don't know if it drifted off in the currents or something happened. 
Uh, but this is definitely a bigger island here. There's there's animals on the island. These islands where you can hunt them uh, for food, like deer, which is pretty uh, actually cool. Um, all right, let me get up a little bit closer here. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm not going to. Let's get on this island and check it out real quick. Because I want to see if I see a deer on here and uh, show you a little more of what the islands look like. You definitely have that sense in, 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 in some cases that you are alone, but the reality is you're not. All right, good. I'm set. I got my weapon ready. I like the sounds on the island. I do have the... Uh... All right, we got combat coming up here. This thing is a beast. <laughs> yes. Get me a little gold. There's also some merchants you can trade with and uh, also get quests from, which is, I, I don't remember that before. All of that's cool. I got something red up here. What is going on here? I would say that's an apple that I just knocked off that tree. That was cool. I did not know you could do that. I don't think I can chop this down. I can hit it. I don't think I can chop. Let's see. I don't think so. Because you, you already find wood on the ground when you're exploring, so I don't think you can actually chop trees down in this game. I definitely like the color in this game. You know, a lot of these games have gone to these dark, dreary colors. I actually kind of dig this kind of really bright colored. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? How quick I was snuck up on? That was wild. And again, this is what I like about this game. Uh different than stranded deep is i feel like i have a purpose like i'm exploring there's things I actually do other than just you know find a coconut or two um and and the level of crafting is you know much more rich as well and again not putting down stranded deep that's it's awesome in its own way all right let's uh let's actually take a bow out and take this guy out He's got an arrow in his head. Mm, I just took a hit. Got him. Make sure nobody else is coming. Oh, yeah. We got some goodies here. Some gold and some other stuff. Um, I can't. I will do another video when I have a larger ship, when I when I can really build it up. Uh, let's, I'm going to have the sun go down a little bit because I want you to see some of the visuals as well here. Let's go with uh, four hours and see what that does. I guess I went a little too far. But no, 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 that's good right there. Look at that. Oh, we got us another camp over there. But the game looks good. I mean, look, I like the whole, like I said, the look of the sun going down, sun coming up, and, the, and these ambient sounds are really, really nice. Again, I can't say it enough. The game has come so far than when it first came out. It's, it's great to see that it's um, that's still being worked on, that uh, you know hasn't been abandoned. It's still in development. I know something is going to jump out here in a second. I actually have a quest to take out a, a group of pirates that raided some guy's shop. So I am kind of working on that. This is awesome. What was that? Yeah, I heard this sound behind me the other uh, last night when I was playing, and it was the weirdest sound. It turned out to be a giant tarantula and its babies uh, that came up on me and uh, almost took me out. It was uh, it was wild. 
There are treasures to be found. I have yet to make a shovel, though, so that I could dig up the treasures. I think I'm going to end this here. Share your thoughts. Have you played Salt lately? Uh, if you haven't, I would definitely re-download it. What do you think about it? Any comparison with Stranded Deep? Uh, pros and cons? I don't think I can... Um... No. Oh, I can't get this one. Oh, yeah. And a shout out to um, the team making salt uh, for, for for pushing through and adding more content. Look forward to the big update uh, that comes out. I think it's going to be really good. And again, I'll bring some more footage, especially as I learn more and I also get a larger ship I can show off in this game. Uh, nighttime is awesome. You'll see beacons of light out there sometimes. Like over here, these fires over here on the other island, which I think is a cool effect. Cheers, peace, guys. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the likes. Look forward to hearing your comments below. I'll see you guys in the gaming world.